Okay, guys, for you, for you out there that don't know how to download tracks and stuff that other people's made, this is just a quick video showing you how. You just open up Velocidrome and go to the track editor right here and click on it. And then you'll go right here to download track. Click that. And if you want to find, you can search for individual tracks or you can search for... Uh, people's names uh, just like to find out the best way to find my tracks is just to put in my name right here and you can get all of my tracks uh, and it's all one word you just type Chris Riley Chris Riley all one word and then you hit and uh, make sure it's uh, you've got all these selected beginner intermediate and advanced because I and and on the maps make sure it's set to all and then just click search and see that quick it popped up now this is you can and you can see right here this is uh, my names out here and then this is the track this is, this is my newest track right here Sky City it was dynamic weather it's an intermediate track and all you have to do is click download and it takes just a few seconds it downloads it to your computer and then you can fly it and you'll, and you'll have it until you delete it and you can also make changes to it if you want to. You can go to the, you can load it up in the track editor. Uh, let's just say you downloaded this, but right here is all my tracks. I've got several. Okay. Now let's go back. Let's close this. Okay. And uh, and right here is all the tracks I've made that I've already got in my computer. Some of them I hadn't uploaded yet because I'm not through with them. But let's say you want to, uh, let's say once you get a track in your computer, just like MD95 TS's yard right here. All right, this is his track. I've already got it in my computer. You can go over here. It'll, when you go to track editor, <clears throat> first thing it'll do is it'll, all these that you've downloaded will be, will be listed. And just like his yard right here, you can go right over here and click edit. Just click edit, and then his will pop up, his yard that I've made will pop up. And you'll be in editor mode, and you can make any changes you want to. If you mess up, just X out of it before you save it, and then load the game back up, and it'll still be just like it was. Or you can go and re-download it again. The only thing is, if you download somebody else's track, just like if you download one of my tracks and you make changes to it, then you can't upload it. You can't re-upload it to the cloud or wherever it is this uploads to. You can only upload tracks that you have made. If you make changes to somebody else's, then you can't re-upload it. Okay. Now, let's go back. Now, let me show you. Let's go to track editor. I search for a lot of people's tracks. Let's go to download track again. Now, let's remove this Chris Riley. And let's just put in... Uh, SKY for sky and the track name and hit search and see what pops up if anything okay see now this is my track that I've made sky city shows you my name this is a track somebody else has made sky ground something I can't read I ain't got my glasses on uh, and you can see Gaten or gotten FPV or something just like then you could type his name over here in and remove that sky and it will show you any tracks he's uploaded all of his tracks uh, here's one called skyscraper sky rise all these other people's made there are you just think of how many how many people out there on Velocidrome and most people that have Velocidrome have tinkered with the editor I'd say 80 percent of the people out there just put a few gates down on the yard and call it a track that ain't for me. I don't race. Don't care anything about that. <laughs> My, what I like is the intricate tracks where it's somebody's put a lot of thought and detail into it, and it looks really nice, and it's and it's expansive. That's the kind of stuff I make, and uh, that's the kind of stuff I search for. And you just think that's how many people own Velocidrome, and uh, there's a lot of tracks to be downloaded. I mean, I mean, there's tens of thousands of tracks that you can download that's not in the game that you can play you just have to go do a little time and search for them 
a good way, a really good way to find new tracks, nice tracks that people's made is to go to Facebook and uh, join the Velocidrome community. I'm part of it. It's real easy to join. You just 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 uh, click you want to join, and they'll ask you some questions of why you want to join. Answer them, and then they'll approve it. And then. Uh, Almost every week, somebody uploads two or three tracks that they've made. Some of them's really nice, and uh, then you know, and I list how you, what, to, where to go to download it, what name to put in, or whatever. If you don't have Velocidrone, you should get it. Velocidrone has bypassed liftoff by far. I mean, I, I bought about a year ago. I got liftoff. And then a couple of weeks later, I got Velocidrome. And at the time, a year ago, or a little over a year ago, liftoff actually flew a little bit better than uh, Velocidrome. But that ain't the case no more. Liftoff don't don't update very much, and they don't. They've just forgotten about it. Seems like Velocidrome. Uh, I mean, I've even made requests to Velocidrome people on the. Uh, Velocidrome community because the people that make the, the game they own are answering people's questions all the time and I put out a whole list of stuff I'd like to see added to the editor and they and they said that they'd do most of it but it would be a while take it take them a while to get around to it which is fine but it shows they care and they'll talk to you but uh, they're constantly coming out with updates and new tracks and new physics uh, you can make Velocidrome fly almost identical to a real quad now. I mean, it is amazing how good it flies. Now, I know a lot of these tracks I make, some of the objects are so big, it makes your drone seem like it's slow, but that's just because I made some of the objects so big. But uh, it's the best racing, I mean, uh, best, best sim game for drones, I believe, that's out there, by far. And the tracks are real easy to make if you just want to spend some time. I mean, most of these tracks, I usually it takes me a day or two to make, a full day or maybe a couple of half days, and I can make one of these whole tracks like the Sky City. I built that today. It took me all day, but I did it today. All right, guys, have a good day and enjoy.